Hi, so I wanted to do a nice pregnancy session on the ball here. So just take your ball and make sure your knees are stacked over your heels. And that I'm not at the very apex of the ball, I'm just slightly at the front edge and I've got space between my calves and the ball here. And then if I were you just lean over to one side and pick up one sit bone to widen it out to one side of the body and then pick up the other sit bone, bring it out to the side and then just notice how the pelvic floor and your pelvis is sitting much wider on the ball there. Okay, so from there we're gonna hold our tray of drinks out in front of us and just let the elbows be soft by the side of the body. And we're gonna start with some lower back movement. So in pregnancy, as baby gets heavier, it tends to be that our pelvis rocks forward and we get a little bit too much extension into the lower back, which can cause back pain. So I want you to really think here that you're trying to roll the ball towards your heels, scooping that pelvis tailbone underneath you. And you'll feel your deep abdominals sink in under baby. And then you're gonna control sending the ball back behind you. Don't let it just drop, but super slow the control. So you're also learning to control that little bit of extension into the spine. So we're gonna roll and then release. And just think about growing tall through the crown of the head. Tuck under and out behind you. Rolling under. What people tend to do sometimes is just bring the knees forward and back. Your knees should be still, stacked over your ankles, and the movement is then coming from your lower back and pelvis, tucking under and release. And you don't want it to feel compressive. Feel like the tummy's sinking and lifting under baby. So the tall, you feel taller and your spine feels lengthened rather than a press and compress and release out. So sink, but lift through the body. And then release out. Last two. Last one. And then you're gonna find your halfway position between those two points, where you've got even weight through the sit bones. And then from here, just offer the hands forward like you're holding those tray of drinks out in front of you and then bring those elbows back in towards you. And we're going to go out a little bit behind you. As you do so, don't let the ribs pop. So you're going to keep the rib cage anchored and stacked and then find a width through your collarbones, smiling as you just take the elbows back. And then here we reach and then we fold. And just watch that the ball doesn't roll out behind you and you become more extended into that low back. Keep that tailbone under and that length through the spine. Last two, wide elbows. Sorry, wide shoulders. And last one, open through the collarbones. And then reach out in front of you. Then here we open the arms out wide and just feel a nice stretch across the front of the body. Breathe into the front of the rib cage. Let the shoulders be soft. And then bring those arms out in front of you. Then here, taking those arms up and overhead, place them behind the back of your head. And I want you to give yourself a little double chin so you almost press the back of the skull into those hands. Giving yourself a double chin, that doesn't mean you're looking down, you're looking on the horizon, just retracting back to create length through the head and neck. So from here, I want you to slide those shoulders up towards your ears and then glide them away. Slide them up towards your ears and glide them away. Up and then melt them away. Keeping those shoulder blades down your back, we're gonna rotate up and out the waist. So knees and hips stay facing forward and you're not gonna change the weight through either of those sit bones as you rotate up and out the waist. Elbows stay wide and hold. Soft shoulders away from your ears and back to centre and switch and back to centre one more each side here back to centre and switch 
back to center. Reach those arms up, soft shoulders, and bring those arms down by the side of you. Roll those shoulders back and let them melt away, thinking about width and smiling collarbones. And again, up and let them widen and melt away. Then switch direction, roll up, let them widen and melt away. And last one, up, widen and melt away. This time we're gonna bring those shoulders up towards your ears, which is against what we're always saying, so you're gonna keep them there. You're gonna take those arms up, up, up to the ceiling, keeping those shoulders up, up, up towards your ears. Keep them lifted, keep them lifted, and then bring those arms down with those shoulders up, up, up towards your ears. Keep going, keep going, keep going. And then when your arms come down, let them go and you'll feel that softness through the spine. Roll the shoulders back and you'll feel that letting go. We're gonna continue that nice letting go feeling by taking the arms up. And now here, back into that roll of the pelvis. So roll the ball underneath you, getting that sinking feeling under baby. And then we're gonna nose dive. So as you tuck the ball under, round rib cage and breastbone into your spine and nose dive those arms out in front of you. Nice stretch into flexion into the spine. Just let the chin rest on your chest. And then we're gonna go the other way. So you're gonna reach up, start to send your tailbone out behind you. Now not let it shoot out so that you get compression into that lower back, keep the length in it, but send it out behind you. And now open those hands, lift the chest, lift the heart, inhale. And then we're gonna nose dive. So we're gonna tuck that tailbone under, rib cage softens, breastbone draws into your spine and nose dive out and away from you, getting a nice stretch across the shoulder blades. And then inhale, send that tailbone out behind you with control finding length in the spine rather than extension with compression. Lift the heart, lift the chin, and then nose dive, roll that tailbone under, curl and round. And then send that tailbone out, lift the heart, open into a nice wide chest stretch. Last one, tailbone under, Breastbone into your spine, reach the hands away. And then release. Breath in. And then bring those arms down by the side of the body and just find your neutral position. So knees stacked over those ankles and your tailbone isn't out behind you. Rib cage stacked. So we've worked into opening and flexion and extension in the spine and a little bit of rotation. I now want to work a little bit of lateral rotation through the rib cage. So bring your arms out in front of you and then bring them out wide, just in line with your shoulders. And here, we're gonna slide the rib cage to one side. Now what people tend to do is drop into side flexion. It's a lengthening reach. So reach towards where the ceiling meets the wall or up towards the sky, creating length. My body weight is down through this sit bone, but I'm still dropping this sit bone as best I can down into that ball. And then we're gonna switch. So I'm reaching. My rib cage slides across my pelvis and reach. Finding length through the spine, through the rib cage and reach. And reach. And reach. And reach. Back to center. Even weight through both sit bones, arms come overhead. And then bring your hands down behind your head again and find that nice straight tall body, back of the skull, just pressing into your hands, nice double chin looking on the horizon. Even weight through the feet, check that those knees aren't forward over those toes but are stacked over the ankles and that you haven't let your tailbone duck out behind you, that you've got a nice neutral spine. Rotate up and out the waist and hold here and I want you to see if one knee is shot back. Just level those knees up, level the weight through the sit bones and hold there. Then arm comes out in front of you, other arm comes out behind you and you can feel the rotation through the body there. Hold that, check those knees 
a level, check you've got even weight through those sit bones. And now take the arms up to centre, but staying on the rotation through the body. And down. Reach. And down. Just working those oblique tummy muscles. And if you feel compressive through the spine, as you reach lengthen through the spine, without the ball moving. Last one. Then with the arms overhead, rotate back to centre. Hands come behind the back of the head. Grow tall. Slide the shoulders up. Glide them away. Knees and hips stay facing forward. Relax if you're tense through your bottom and let your pelvis just widen over the ball. Rotate up and out the waist with even weight through the sit bones, elbows wide. Then one arm comes out in front of you. Other arm comes out behind you and hold the rotation. Check that the knees haven't twisted. Square them up. Hold there, then take the arms up to the ceiling. Hand down, keep breathing here. Find the length through the spine. And last one. Back to centre. Place those hands behind the back of your head and we're gonna come into a dolphin now. So we want to think about the, thir the neck in three thirds. So give yourself that double chin so you lengthen through the upper third and you flex through the upper third of the neck. Then find the mid third of the neck. So you really want to give yourself a double chin retract back and then you can hinge at the base of the neck. My elbows are nice and wide. Now I'm gonna curl with my breastbone in towards my spine and start Start to roll down here into a nice deep C shape and you can just tuck your tailbone under as well. Then from here we're going to scoop forward, lift the tailbone or roll the ball back slightly. Don't sink the belly so that you lose control but just find length through the spine, open the elbows wide and scoop up in a nice straight spine. So we give ourselves a double chin, work into the upper third of the neck mid third, lower third, soft shoulders, curl into the rib cage, round, roll the ball towards your heels into a nice deep C, then come forward, roll the ball out behind you slightly, find length through the spine, wide elbows and scoop back up. So nice and flowing here, we roll down, tuck under, reach and lengthen. Double chin curl, roll the ball forward, then lift the tailbone, lengthen and open, two more. And last one. And open, nice and tall, find your nice neutral tailbone underneath you, reach those arms up. Leave one arm up at the ceiling, other arm down by the side of the body. Restack the knees, oppose those fingertips, find the length through the spine. And now you're going to just let your hand reach down to the floor. And again, you're not shifting, the ball isn't moving. Even weight through the sit bones as you side bend over. Opening up rib cage to pelvis. Keeping those sit bones even weight through them and then reach back up. Switching sides, oppose those fingertips. Drop your ear to your shoulder and just slide down the ball with your hand. Inhale and hold. And then exhale. Reach up one last time each way. Back to centre, last one. Back to centre. Roll those shoulders back. And then we're gonna bring the legs out wide, just turning those toes out slightly to where it's comfortable. If you found the sit bones have just come together a little bit, lift and widen them again. And again, I'm nearer the front edge of my ball. Knees out over my second toes, just plant the feet. And this is a little bit like a labor position that you might come into. Just allow that pelvis to open and be wide on the ball. Connect with the ball as you bounce here. And then just notice if you're putting weight more through the balls of the feet, can you find the heels? Just connect through your heels of your feet as you open them. We're just gonna bounce here. Really nice for just 
working our deep abdominals, pelvic floor, all those pelvic muscles. Nice. Okay. And then from here, we're going to bring our arms down by the side of us. And I want you to spiral the whole arm inwards. So although it's the hand turning, it's the whole of my arm bone rotating and then rotating the other way. And you're going to add that in with your bouncing. So we're just going to bounce here. Okay, watch your tailbone is now behind you and you're compressing your low back. Roll the ball underneath you slightly so that you're nice and balanced. And we're just turning those arms and hold the end ranges that's where you'll get the stretch and then open as you open try not to pop the rib cage weight in the heels last two last one and then come to a gentle stop then here we're going to turn those palms to face forward and just scoop the fingers shut and the thumbs shut. And then here, find that nice width across the collarbones and take the arms up, palms still facing behind you. And then we're gonna bring them down and you're gonna press the back of the hands back. As you do so, don't let the rib cage pop. So the body stays still, the ball stays still. You just press the hands back without the rib cage popping and feel a width across the shoulders and then you'll feel your shoulder blades glue onto your chest wall. So we're gonna go up, find the length through your spine and then press back and then up, length through your spine. Keep those knees out over your second toes and then reach and press back. This time, just press back and hold there. And then you're gonna just squeeze the little fingers in towards the ball, okay? Keeping the width across the front of the shoulders and don't let the rib cage pop. It's got to soften down towards baby, towards your waist. And just double time here, pulsing. Nice, six more, five, four, three, two, one and hold. So from here, just in line with the waist, palms still facing forwards, we're gonna just hinge at the hips. So the ball can roll out behind you slightly, but you're not sinking through the belly and letting go. You stay connected and ribs stay connected. You just fold at the hips into a forward lean. And then from here, just press those hands back in the same way you were doing before. And this time, just think as you press back, you're reaching those fingertips away from you as well. Long neck, you're not tipping the head up, you're looking out on a diagonal line in front of you. And then press back and fold. Last one here. Press back and hold, and now little fingers together. This time you haven't got the ball, you're just trying to squeeze them together. We're gonna go double time, eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Hold, and now take those arms overhead, keeping those shoulders away from your ears, and then out behind, squeeze the little fingers towards one another, and overhead, and squeeze, overhead. Last two, last one out then hinge back to center breath in and then exhale just roll through the upper body curl down and then if you feel comfortable you can hang towards the floor or just place your hands on your knees let the head hang heavy and then roll the tailbone underneath you as you do that your ball might roll forward curl and restuck through the low back mid back upper back Peel the chin away from the chest and just find that nice neutral. Nice. Bring those feet back to the midline and step off. Bring the ball out in front of you and just pop your hands about shoulder width apart on the ball. Step back slightly, soften those knees and then from here just drop your chin onto your chest and roll the ball forward. Soft knees here. Then flare those sit bones to deepen the stretch through the back line. I haven't locked out through my knees sink through the breastbone and just hang here, let the head hang heavy. Breath in, 
Exhale, roll the tailbone underneath you. Curl through the low back, mid back, upper back, just keeping your chin soft on your chest wall. And then release back out. Lift the tailbone, sink through the breastbone, reach. And then tuck under. And last one here, reach into a nice straight spine, sink through the breastbone. Breath in. Exhale, roll the tailbone under, curl that spine, bringing the ball back in towards you. And then as your fingertips start to come away, just let the ball bounce wherever it's going to bounce. And then restack through the upper back, peeling the chin away from the chest and reach those arms up. Breath in. Exhale, bring those arms down by the side of you, imagining your head like a helium balloon floating upwards. Roll your shoulders back to finish. <laughs>